My doctor told me to just stay on my birth control pills in order to get through menopause without having symptoms. Is that okay? Hey, Dr. Deb here. And this is a fairly common recommendation by family doctors and gynecologists for women who are already on birth control pills to just stay on birth control pills as they go through menopause, wait till they're done menopause, and then stop birth control pills. The idea being that you'll avoid the hot flashes and sleeplessness and some of the other symptoms that go with going through menopause. I don't think it's a good idea, and I'm gonna tell you why. Birth control pills are synthetic drugs. They are man-made chemicals that are made to mimic your hormones. So they aren't the same thing as your hormones. Because they mimic hormones, they have some of the same benefits, but not all, and they have some different risks. One of the really important risks is they can increase your risk for a blood clot. And we know this, all doctors know that birth control pills increase your risks for a blood clot. Now, when you're 19 years old and you need birth control, your risk for a blood clot is so low that even if we raise it a little bit, it's still a pretty remote possibility. When you're in your 40s and 50s, the risk of a blood clot starts to go up, and if you have a blood clot in your heart, that would be a heart attack. A blood clot in your brain would be a stroke. Like, it's just not really worth it because there are other options. The other thing for you to know is hormone replacement therapy, which, you know, has got a bad name and I talk about all the time how there's lots of myths around it, but so many women are scared of hormone replacement therapy in a way that they're not scared of birth control pills but birth control pills are just a higher dose of hormone replacement therapy and they're synthetic hormones instead of the natural stuff. So of all the choices, in my opinion, it's kind of the worst. What we can do instead is if you come off the birth control pills, we can give you natural forms of the hormones, only the ones that you need, not, you know, you don't necessarily need all the hormones. You probably don't need estrogen if you haven't gone through menopause yet, but we can give you some of the natural hormones in order to smooth out your ride through menopause so that you can feel great, you can minimize the risks. We, we have ways of doing it that don't increase your risk for blood clots, so to me, it just makes more sense. In addition to the blood clot risk, which is the biggest one, another thing that birth control pills do is they are not good for your microbiome. That's your the kind of bacteria that live in your gut. Birth control pills kill off a lot of the really beneficial bacteria that you need in order to stay healthy. They also deplete certain nutrients in your body, especially B vitamins. So you're taking a medicine that is preventing pregnancy. And listen, if you need birth control, that's sort of a different conversation. The best form of birth control for women is for your partner to have a vasectomy. But birth control pills are not high on my list of recommendations for birth control. An IUD is better. Even the IUDs that have a little bit of the hormone in them have a much, much lower dose of hormone than what you're gonna be getting in birth control pills. So you shouldn't take advice from somebody on Facebook. You should have a, a conversation with your healthcare practitioner about the risks and benefits and all of your options. But if you don't feel like you are having a full conversation, if you're not really getting the answers that you're looking for, then you need to find a provider who can really help you so that you can have all the benefits of hormones, you don't have the risks, and you can love the way you feel.